Well, uh, it's kind of like riding a fucking Bronco when you start this thing up. Let's get to it. Whoa, this thing is definitely not the easiest to pull. Not the easiest to drive through this uh, teeny gate. I really need to extend this gate here because uh, this is not easy to do. Alright, watch them horns. I don't want them popping a the tire. So we're just filling up the water. Still don't have my pumps running yet. Uh, so I'm just taking care of the cattle a little bit here uh, before uh, Jim wants me to come over to uh, his house. Uh, Jim wants me to help him out, so I don't think he wants me to harvest, so I, I don't... The, the crops are a little wet still, uh, so we still have uh, about a day maybe, maybe two days of harvest left. Why are you guys all collecting right by my gate here? Let's see if I can uh, ride this Bronco and not buck it. Yeah, looks like I got it all right. All right, let's shut this gate before these uh, crazies get out all over the neighborhood. All right, now that that's done, uh, I already fed the... So I already fed them, so now we can just uh, go and see what Jim wants us to do. Uh-oh, you know who I forgot to feed is Buck. Sorry, Buck. There we go. Uh, now I'm gonna head over to Jim's, so I'm still waiting for my, uh, farmer's subsidy, uh, check. Uh, I, I have a few plans, basically, to purchase some things, and maybe even trade in this, uh, Alice Chalmers, just because I'm really having a hard time keeping that thing running. Not that I don't like it, just, uh, might be trading it in. Just a thought, but... We'll see what we have. I know we, uh, this, uh, 7140 here is working great as a tillage tractor, so maybe we might just, uh, back off. We probably don't need it, but, uh, so, uh, I feel bad. I need to show this Dodge some love, so I think I'm going to be, uh, driving this today. Head over to Jim's house again. So, I've been, uh, making some pretty good money because I... I've been working for Jim a lot lately, so I don't really get too many hours by the time I get done with uh, all my dairy operations, uh, feeding the cattle, taking care of the cattle, and everything. Uh, a little bit late. Ooh, what do we... We got a... What is this? A T7? Somebody's uh, feeding. It looks like a new... Anderson uh, feed wagon on the back of that newer. I'm not for sure if that T7 was new or not. Why is this guy going so slow in front of me? Come on, get out of the way. Move it. Does he want to race? Uh oh. Come on. Come on, Dodge. What? He's. He's gaining on you. Come on. Oh, man. Poor Dodge. Put you to shame. Looks like he's all over the road there. Stay between the lines there, buddy. It's a mighty yellow truck, that's for sure. You usually see that yellow of a truck, but uh, some people like the color yellow. All right, so uh, Jim's got all his harvest stuff down. Looks like Billy isn't here, so I'm kind of happy because of that. Because, uh, I don't know. That, that guy's kind of different. Let's just say that. Looking good. I might have to wash this thing up while I'm here quick because that's kind of dirty. Let's see what Jim wants us to do. So this is one of them jobs that I am happy to take. So, uh, Jim says he wants us to go to, uh, it's a few miles away, actually it's a few hours away. Uh, we're gonna go to Iowa a little bit. 
but he wants us to go over there and clean out a barn for him. So basically, his older brother, he's a doctor, uh, he purchases land basically to kind of a tax write-off, so he buys small farms. Heard a lot of doctors do this, uh, a lot of wealthy people, so Jim's brother is definitely wealthy. But the thing is, is the farm he bought has his old barn. It has some nice collectibles, uh, some pretty interesting tractors. Uh, Jim wants us to go there, collect everything we think might be of value and take it back because uh, his brother is basically just kind of handing it over. I, I just, they must have a pretty good family here, but his brother is obviously just trying to give back a little bit to the family farm, uh, which is cool. I think, uh, but, and then I get to go snoop through a old barn. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? Go through an old barn, check it out, try to find something cool. And maybe, don't tell Jim this, we won't tell them everything we see. Hmm. It'll be our secret. So I need to go back home. Uh, I'm going to go get my big goose neck because I've made that mistake already. Uh, pulling too small of a trailer. Uh, and I'm still waiting for that my uh, aunt stuff to get here. I know the truck, I'm pretty sure she already sold her old, uh, her old suicide cab. But uh, uh, the rest of the stuff I kind of want to get shipped here. So, where is this guy going? He must have a back and forth feed in his cattle or something. Just letting him know I'm passing him here. I don't know if he wants me to pass him, but he's kind of going slow. I know, I, I passed on a hard yellow line there, which probably shouldn't do. Especially, never, these old country roads, especially when there's tractors driving around, you don't want to mess around somebody could get you in serious collision got an old manure spreader going here yep I haven't seen this farmer around here active day today as you can see there's a lot of uh, uh, equipment movement around gonna wait until he gets around this S turn because of the blind spots give him a little honk let him know I'm coming around sometimes in the uh, tractors have a hard time seeing behind them so I just kind of li like to let them know they might think I'm annoying but wow whoa 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 this guy's out of control slow down buddy slow down slow down don't see many of them challengers around there. That's kind of kind of a different tractor. Hope he uh, ends up slowing down. I know them challengers go at a pretty good clip too. So it's maybe he just got a little too high a gear and he was going. I don't know, but he was kind of out of control. So we need to go over here, pick up our uh, gooseneck. I think I have it. Yeah, I parked it back here somewhere. There's my big ticks. Alright, got the gooseneck hooked up. I'm gonna stop over here and I'm gonna have my wife pack me a lunch just because I don't know how long it's going to take me. Jim did say you'll pay for a hotel room if it takes too long, so I'm just gonna get a few uh, travel supplies. What do you think, Buck? You want to come with me? You don't know? It's alright. You could stay here, Buck. Let's see. Uh, we'll get a few travel supplies for us and uh, love on my wife a little bit and then uh, I'll head out. Yeah, my wife is a little mad at me because I told her I was going to build her a new house and everything and that kind of fell through. But she's a little angry, but it'll all work out kind of failed at that project let's just say that big big failure so we're headed out for our few hour drive 
pretty good rig, so I, I got the big Cummins this time, so it, it'll be pulling me around. Make this uh, trip a little bit enjoyable. I know I don't always have to drive the GMC, so it's okay to give the Dodge a little love from time to time. Headed by Jim's here, so we'll give him a little honk to let him know that we are off. Well, there's that yellow truck. I'll race you, buddy. I'll, I'll beat you next time. Not with a trailer on me, though. I'll see you again without the trailer. I'm gonna head over here. You know, I have a craving for, uh, maybe I should probably stop by, uh, Starbucks and, uh, kinda want a donut, to be honest. Uh, wouldn't mind a donut just to, uh, hold me over. The Starbucks is obviously, oh, whoa, we got a, we got a crew going there. Uh, Starbucks is basically just to, uh, keep my eyes open and, uh, the donut is just because, uh, when you're bored and don't have nothing better to do and you're driving, I mean, you kind of get the munchies. At least I do. I don't know about you guys, but I get the munchies when I'm driving long distance. The good thing is, is there is a new donut shop in the area here, and I really want to try it out. I'm going to go over here and uh, see if uh, now this 7-Eleven donut shop, what it's all about, see what flavors. What do you guys think I'm going to get? Uh, jelly donut? Uh, Sprinkle donut. I mean, there's so many options. I don't even know what I want. Keep that old truck running. I have a nice place to eat out here in front and everything. So, uh, oh, look at this old fashioned uh, flyers. It's kind of cool. You know, look like they got the old flyers. All right, so I got chocolate frosting uh, stuffed donut. So, and now I'm going to head over. We'll put this in the truck here. I'm going to run over here and get me a coffee for the road, for the travels. Well, what do you know? Cousin, for once, isn't here. Pretty sure she probably works here or lives here, around here, something. I don't know. She's always around. All right, got the coffee, got the donut. We are ready to go. Must be a police department around here or something. Got a coffee shop and a donut shop right next to each other. It's got to be supporting the local PD. Alright, so we are going to head off for a few hours and uh, hopefully we will get there without any incidents. You know when you feel like an idiot? Yep. That's what I feel like right now. I have no idea why I thought this would just be a few hours drive. It's a nice little uh, bow tie Chevy right there. But, uh, wow. Did I misjudge that? We're finally in the state of... I think it's Iowa. We're either in Iowa or Missouri, one of the two. We're borderline, I believe. That's the river. That crosses in between the borderline but uh, we're almost there I'm going to need to fill this uh, old diesel up really kind of upset at myself I didn't end up driving my GMC not that I don't like driving this old uh, diesel is I'm kind of missing my creature comforts of my old GMC so uh, I'm driving around, I need to uh, possibly fill up with gas, so we're going to see where we can get some gas around here. Ooh, there's a Wendy's down there. Wouldn't mind getting some fast food in my belly, but I, I kind of miss my creature comforts, like my, uh, basically my heated steering wheel, my heated seats, because... Uh, Basically makes me uh, miss all my creature comforts. Like, I got lane departure in my truck. I got forward head collision. I mean, them type things is what you need when you're driving long distances. So I'm going to fill this up. 
Uh, we're really trying to find a gas station that was uh, blown off with all the snow, but I'm hoping I can get this big gooseneck trailer started again. I mean, whew, this is a diesel. I got some uh, BFWs on there, so I should be able to, but there's no guarantees. I'm going to wait till this engine uh, cools down and check the oil, check all my fluids. Looks like I need some washer fluid. Yeah, I've been blowing through it trying to keep all the ice and uh, the snow speckles off my windshield. I've been driving a long time, man. 16 hour drive. Whew. That's a long one. So I'm ready to find this place. Like I said, this is Jim's brother. Jim's brother is wealthy. He's a specialist doctor. So he is, uh, I believe, some type of pain specialist. I know, I, I think he deals with nerves. Some type of uh, nerve specialist, I should say. Uh, and he makes a lot of money, which means he needs to hide his money from the taxes. He uh, purchased a farm basically because of the tax write-off. Uh, he's actually trying to find somebody to run this little farm of his, but he's doing Jim a favor is one of the couple of the buildings or one of the buildings the old barn back there has some old uh, some old uh, vehicles or something in it all right so we've got some new windshield wiper fluid in there uh, so basically the old owner was really uh, an older feller uh, he ended up uh, it was a uh, retirement auction, I guess. Uh, but he kind of let a lot of his vehicles, uh, his equipment, just kind of go there. He was just one of the people that refused to sell uh, his old uh, vehicles he used, you know, going up. He probably meant something to him. But some of them vehicles haven't been disturbed for 15 years. So basically these barns for the most part haven't been uh went through or anything completed at all uh for 15 years Ooh, i hit that curb a little bit with that uh, trailer can't really go through the drive through so i'm gonna make it a walk through what you guys don't do this what do we want hmm. rich meaty chili yep you sold me we're gonna get it hopefully no one's there to uh, have to smell the aftermath of our uh, chili we got here so uh, I'm gonna have to pay them again drive through walk through good thing no one else is uh, trying to go behind me they'd be a little strange I know I could just go in but usually this is a little faster I know I'm weird I'm weird all right, got our chili. We paid the lady. So now... So now, hopefully we don't get stuck here. And we gotta find this place. Uh, figure out where we need to go. Don't remember. I've been here back in... 2017 maybe 18 but I, I've been in this in this area or this uh, town not too long ago I mean a few years ago so maybe two three years ago but really lost and ways is uh, my app on my phone isn't really helping me too much so we are trying to uh, wing it and uh, right now it's not winging that good. Ooh, here we go. Yep, I think this is the bridge I need to go on. Uh-oh. Got a fellow dodge. Uh, hopefully you didn't jump there, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure maybe he's just uh, fishing off the bridge I I don't know don't ask me 
So we go down here. Ooh, there's a McDonald's there. Oh, I could have stopped by Casey's. Shoot. Oh well. Uh oh. Got a. We got a driver down. Let me see if they're all right. Ooh. Man. That signpost looked like that really uh, took a beating. Kept on uh, standing up. All right, there's no one in this truck. Uh, I think I'll just dial 911 just to make sure this is reported. And I don't even see footprints away from this. It's a little odd. So I know they got a lot of big snow. That's why it took us so long too because, uh, man, we got this big trailer on icy conditions, roads. Not the best. We're gonna have to turn around. Man, I sure hope this uh, trailer don't get stuck with it. Do not know where I need to turn. Actually, I think this truck kind of I got memorized by the truck that tipped over and I missed to my interstate exit. This should be our interstate we need to go on. Just have a, it's just a little bit of a drive out of here uh, on the interstate for 10 miles maybe or so out of the town. And then uh, should find the road, at least according to Waze, but Waze has kind of been uh, tricking me lately, so, I don't know. Looks like the road graders need to come and uh, make sure their interstate is completely uh, pushed off. Looks like there's a lot of snow still on the roads here. Starting to drift up. Uh-oh. Road work. Why isn't it Waze reporting this? Usually this app reports all this stuff. I didn't even see a indi indication. Man. Uh-oh. Getting pushed off the interstate. I don't know if the interstate's closed up there. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, might have to take a little bit more back roads. Ooh, ooh. Kind of glad I ended up driving my Dodge now because, man, I was not expecting this much snow. A lot of snow here. A whole lot of snow. Oh, here we're going across the river. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a real one-way bridge here. Definitely a narrow bridge. Don't want to see any oncoming traffic over here. Usually don't see them. I don't know. We on... Oh, yep, here's the sign. So we are coming up on Iowa. People of Iowa welcomes me. And me. That's nice of them. Uh oh, it looks like we have an old uh, forgotten gas station out here. What is this, a Texaco? Ooh, that's creepy. Creepy place there. Don't know exactly where I need to turn at here. Uh, 45 coming up here. Oh, here's some life on this road. What? Who do we have going here? Hmm. Pretty looking bow tie there. Alright, so I think this is our turn. Yep, pretty little lake over there on the side of us. Uh oh, there's jumping deer all over the place. It's 55 for these turns? Wow. Be amazed. I don't think I'm going to drive 55 because this is a high risk of being icy over here. Probably speed in a little bit. Looks like I have somebody coming up my rear. Who's 
Slow down there, truck. Tailgating my trailer and everything. Believe that. Yeah, this guy's trying to pass me. Yeah, these four drivers around here. Come on, give me a break back there. Looks like we got a another. What was that? A bow tie? GMC? Uh oh, I think this is our turn right here. I believe this is our turn. So now we just have to try to make it there. Ooh, this is uh. No one plowed out this road, that's for sure. Man, it's a beautiful area around here. Ah, please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. I don't know if anybody will help me out, because all they want to do is tailgate me around here. I think I remember that gate. Let's see this road. Everything just looks white. 130th Street, yep. Wow. I mean, this snow is deep. I mean, this is at least 8 inches to 12 inches of snow. Crazy amount of snow around here. Circles Farms, yep, this is it. Yes, we found it. Let's see, uh, at least the gate's open. Hmm. Yep, this looks like the picture. I remember that flag. Don't tread on me, troop flag. What the heck is running over here? Something's loud. Got that blower running there? Oh, what's running right there? Circle S Farm. So. This is a nice little farm that his brother bought. What is this sign here? Century Farm, 100 years. So this is basically bought this off of, this was a retirement auction he ended up purchasing. Kind of odd that they have a snowman. Huh, almost kind of creepy. Don't be watching me, snowman. Well, it's kind of festive, I guess. But I am exhausted. I really want to go around and look at all these buildings and see what we got. But I am wore out. It's time to go to bed. Sleep through the night. And hopefully in the morning we'll get started early so we can get headed back home for another long drive. Thank you, Jim. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.